Welcome everybody. Uh, you have found Inviting E.T. Real CE5 Contact Stories from 2018 with Sue Walker and Reverend White Otter. My name is Sue Walker. Reverend White Otter is my spouse. Who are we? <laughs> well, I've spent 28 years as a professional clairvoyant and medical intuitive, and Otter spent more than 30 years as a paranormal investigator, a student of shamanism, and he's a Reiki, Reiki master trained in five separate modalities. Combined, we have more than 60 years, that's six zero years, of dealing with the strange, the weird, and the paranormal. I guess it's, you could say at our house that paranormal really is our normal. Both of us have also been experiences of UFO and ET phenomena since we were children. Otter's experiences began about age 10. Mine started uh, when I was about four. As if that isn't enough, we're unusual in at least one more way. Uh, Reverend White Otter and I are the telepathic translators for an extraterrestrial star nation known as the Ponte, who operate a facility called the Sandia Mountain Information Station beneath the Sandia Mountain on the eastern edge of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Together as a couple, we have one of the longest continual CE5s ever documented. We are also the authors of a book recently released on Amazon called Inviting E.T., which is a handbook on how to host your own CE5 or close encounter of the fifth kind event. <laughs> That's kind of a lot to digest, isn't it? Well, so let me give you a little background about what's gone on in our lives over the last five years and kind of catch you up a bit. Way back in September of 2013, a little bit more than five years ago, Otter and I were first telepathically contacted by a Star Nation person who currently lives and works in a facility beneath the Sandia Mountain on the eastern edge of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Let me tell you, when that happened, boy, it sure took us by surprise. As many of you may know, we initially gave our extraterrestrial contact the nickname Sandia, well, just because of the location of where we knew his voice was coming from. But eventually, we learned his real name was Tilcom, and a lot more about his homeworld of Pontel. Tilcom tells us that Pontel is the fifth planet orbiting the further of the two stars of the binary system that makes up Zeta Reticuli. As we spoke with Tilcom, we learned a great deal about their culture, language, common gestural greetings, what they do in their off-duty time, why they're here, lots of fascinating details. We also learned that the Sandia Mountain Information Station, managed by the Ponte, has been in existence for thousands of years. In New Mexico, our Native American Pueblo friends, such as Zuni elder Clifford Mahudi, will tell you that they, too, have not only known about the Ponte of the Sandia Mountain, but also have been interacting with them and other star nations elsewhere in the desert southwest that visit Earth as far back in their history as anyone can remember. Meet Sandia. His real name, again, is Tilcom. He was the one who first telepathically contacted us. In interacting with our Zeta friend during that first year, 2013 into 2014, Otter and I both realized that he was not the only one there beneath the Sandia Mountain. Now, when you speak with a telepathic nation, you quickly learn to pay attention to what we call their side thoughts. And Tilcom's side thoughts included images of others like him. We knew Tilcom was not living under the mountain all by himself, but uh, we waited for him to bring the subject up. It was about a year and a half after we first began talking to Tilcom. Oh, must have been very, very late January, I think probably into the first couple of days of February of 2015. Tilcom began introducing us to other members of his staff. The first two were a woman named Trudy and a fellow by the name of Rahaz, or as we tend to call him, Radar. Trudy's assignment at the Sandia Mountain Information Station is that of a cultural liaison with other star nations. Radar was introduced to us as one of their pilots, uh, the station's stellar cartographer and a long-range telepath, and their Earth media specialist. 
What's an Earth Media Specialist do? Well, it was radar's assignment to monitor anything coming out of the North American mass media that had to do with the subject of extraterrestrials or UFOs. His assignment was re to report to Tilcom on the both positive and the negative repercussions uh, that might be had for Earth's upcoming official first contact that any of these movies or television shows or documentaries, radio broadcasts, etc., etc., might have. What's the predicted effect of these broadcasts on Earth people and how they see ETs? The Ponte understood that our opinions of them were formed by the media, so they keep their finger on the pulse for general perceptions, and I guess, long story short, it was radar who first told Teokum about something here on Earth called social media, where individuals from around the world could share things with each other instantly in a way that went beyond country borders. In June of 2016, Teokum introduced us to Tini, or Tini, because she's a petite, but uh, more about her in a moment. The idea of instantly sharing across borders, languages, cultures, piqued Tilcom's interest. In the spring of 2015, Commander Tilcom asked whether or not it would be permitted for them to open up a social media account, and he asked us if the Ponte would be able to share things in their own words. I told him I didn't see why not. As far as I know, it wasn't illegal. And so in June of 15, the Twitter account at Sandia Wisdom was created at their request. Tilcom, Tilcom began tweeting information about his people, the Ponte, a little bit about the other star nation, bits of their language, parts of their culture, and even the basics about a science and study on Earth that we just didn't even know about called archaeoplanetography. The unusual, detailed, right-minded nature of the tweets quickly drew attention to the at Sandia Wisdom Twitter account. Teokum's quote, social experiment, because honestly that's what it really was for the Ponte, an experiment, began to draw an interest from people across the world. Sandia began to talk about telepathy, and soon realized that the topic was one of great interest among the growing number of followers. I suspect it was because of the interest on Twitter that a year later, in June of 2016, Sandia interest introduced us to a third member of his staff, a woman by the name of Tini. Or Tini. Tilcom told us that Tini was to be our new telepathy instructor, and it was Tini, or Tini, who dictated to us and worked with us in our telepathic translation of the Telepathy 101 Primer. What's the Primer all about? Well, it's a step-by-step -step instruction manual for beginning to both practice and improve your own telepathic skills. You can check it out for yourself online. You know, it's available as a free download at officialfirstcontact.com. We're working on a hard copy right now. The primer was written for the layperson with a one touch of humor, a lot of common sense, and an easy step-by-step -step approach for not only how to practice to improve your telepathy, but also the proper protocols for inviting telepathic star nations to interact with you. That pre how to basic instruction manual was published less than a year ago last December, precisely on the winter solstice. By the way, the solstices and equinoxes on our planet seem to mark important beginnings and endings for star nations visiting Earth. Uh, we aren't quite sure why they are important, but uh, we see repeating evidence time after time that they sure seem to be. More so than our Julian calendar or even our moon cycles are. So, anyway, last December, Teeny's Telepathy 101 Primer was published for free, and then things started to happen. Everyone around the world became interested. Volunteers from all over the planet who followed the At Sandia Wisdom Twitter account soon helped to translate the Primer into ten major Earth languages. You can find them all on the officialfirstcontact.com website. Teeny began sharing more on Twitter. 
fielding telepathy questions and encouraging those interested in a personal visit from them to practice for 30 minutes a day, every day. About that same time, the Ponte publicly announced that 2018 was going to be the year of increased in-person soft contact. They let us know that they were actively listening for telepathic invitations and indeed visiting folks who they thought were ready and who fit their own parameters. Individuals needed to be mature, emotionally honest, right-minded, those who walked their talk and were really, truly ready to put down their fears. The Ponte knew that if they really were serious about receiving a visit, they would prove it by following the suggested practice schedule of 30 minutes a day and demonstrate patience. 